In our weekly tourism update, tourist arrivals in the first 23 days of November reached 117,597, pushing the yearly total to over 1.2 million. Average daily arrivals surged to over 5,000, significantly higher than the 3,500 recorded a month earlier. The primary source market during the month was India, followed by Russia and Germany. Arrivals are to fall far short of the monthly target of 204,000 visitors. Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority said that Sri Lanka is targeting 2.3 million tourists in 2024. It forecasts India to bring in a majority, followed by Russia and China. According to SLTDA President Priyanta Fernando, several festivals in areas such as Valigama and Unavatana will be organized along with other events around the country. Now let's look at other regional destinations. President Vikramasinghe expressed his unhappiness over the current minimum room rate scheme while speaking at the Tourist Hotel Association AGM held in Colombo recently. He questioned as to which other country has such a scheme, adding that should a good service be provided, businesses will follow. He also noted plans to attract a minimum 5 million tourists in the next few years. The much-delayed free visa scheme finally got off the ground. Visitors from China, India, Indonesia, Russia, Thailand, Malaysia and Japan will be granted no-cost entry to Sri Lanka until 31st of March 2024. Emirates, Etihad Airways and Adani Group are among 16 potential bidders seeking a stake in Sri Lankan Airlines, according to an official at the Aviation Ministry. The privatization is expected to be completed by June 30th, 2024. And with that, we wrap up for this week. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link below for regular updates on economic and business developments in Sri Lanka. Until we see you again next week, thank you for watching. Stay safe.